click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Upon returning to Kufa, Imam Ali immediately prepared for the anticipated clash with Mavia. The defying Mavia continued to violate the Islamic principles by personally using the public treasury for espionage and buying people's loyalty. The people of Syria fully believed him and the in false picture he presented. Ultimately this resulted in a confrontation called Battle of Sifin when the troops of the two sides met at Sifin. Battle of Sifin happened in month of Safar 37 Hijra. The battle saw ferocious fighting for nine days when Mavia's forces were near collapse. His troops were fleeing and in disarray, and their retreat was in massive disorder, running helter-skelter. Mavia was alarmed, tense and frightened, preparing to run away, when he learned of a clever trick. The trick was indecent and unbecoming, it was to make the Holy Quran as an instrument and exploit it, to use it as a tool to his advantage. Mafia seized on this immediately and commanded his fighters to raise 500 holy Qurans on tips of spears, in order to stun the troops of Imam Ali. As jolting as it was, this maneuver did break the onslaught and the momentum of Ali's fighters, for they were very pious men. But Imam Ali was quick to recognize this deceit, he knew how deceptive Mafia was, and now that being near collapse, Mafia wanted to save his neck at the expense of the Quran itself. With that in mind, Ali urged his generals not to halt, but to keep fighting since victory was almost at hand. Alas, Ali's generals and fighters were in shock, for the sight of the Holy Quran high on spearheads was startling to say the least. They could not take it. Not willing to fight, they wanted to accept Mavia's offer to halt the fighting and negotiate instead. The termination of the battle in this manner and the consequences thereof proved to be disastrous to say the least, especially for al bayt and Islam. It is said that there was a conspiracy between Amr ibn al-As, of Mavia's side, and Ashad ibn Qais, a general in Imam Ali's camp, who was working as a spy against Imam Ali, secretly working as an agent for Mavia. In this battle 45,000 men lost their lives in Mavia's camp, and about 25,000 in Imam Ali's camp. Many men of high caliber from both sides died, especially Amar ibn Yasir, the great companion of the Prophet, peace be upon him, who was 90 years old and fought on Imam Ali's side against Mavia.